welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. All right, so I'm back with another unboxing. I uh, it took eight days for this box to go from Chicago, Illinois to Oklahoma. So I was thinking this thing was lost because it left Chicago uh, last Monday, a week ago, yesterday, Monday, and then four day, three days later, it showed back at the Chicago Distribution Center. How it took that long, I don't know. Then it went to Des Moines, Iowa, to Dallas, Texas, to Central Oklahoma. And I got it just a few minutes ago, and now I'm going to do an unboxing. Uh, my friend Van has done several deals with me. He sent me free boxes. He sent me boxes I paid money for, things that he gets for free through cleaning out hoarder houses, donations, et cetera, et cetera, to their food pan, their family's food pantry. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. His family's done food pantry uh, for Greater Chicago for 40 years and uh, done, done a lot. So Van is a good friend of mine. Uh, his brother Carl, I've done a deal with him as well. But um, I paid 300 ship for the box. That means shipping was included in the price of the buy. And I know a pretty good amount of it because I did sold comps on what I could see in the pictures. I did the deal. And again, it took a while to get it, but I got it and I'm excited. It's probably one of the better boxes that I've gotten from uh, Van. And again, thank you again, Van. I really appreciate it. Um, again, he threw in some free stuff. So there's some things that are going to be surprising to me. But on the, again, on the pictures of the stuff that I got, it's pretty cool. And there's some history in here, and there's some video game stuff in here. And I got my N64 hat on. Yeah, an old man with an N64 hat on. Who knew? So I'm going to show you the box real quick because I've just opened the top. I have not got in the box yet. Oh, that's me. Yeah, there you go. So pretty good sized box. I'm going to bring you back here. And uh, let's just get started because I got to set all this stuff out here. And of course, as soon as I do it, I realize there's a piece of tape I didn't open. All right. Oh man, right off the top, there's some things in here that I don't know about. Now, this is a vest. There you go. How about that? Anybody know what that is just by looking at that? It's not ET. Nope, it is not. It is. Stranger Things, yeah. And I think, isn't there a new season of that? Um, this is an XL, and that's definitely an adult XL. Check the pockets. Wow, Van put in 500 bucks cash. Oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, so we're gonna lay that aside. Oh, this is cool, this is cool. Bud Light, Chicago Bulls, some people call this a cabbie hat. Some call it an ascot. Uh, yeah. We got to put that on. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Except I'm a Thunder fan, but that's okay. That's pretty cool. What do you think? Is it me? <laughs> well, I am the cap guy. I didn't say I was the cabbie hat guy. But thanks, man. I really like that. That's cool. All right. Uh-oh. Looks like we got some sheets or something. Again, some of this stuff, if I sound surprised, it's because I didn't know it was coming. It's a set of sheets. I'm assuming twin. Looks like, from what I can tell so far, Looney Tunes? Mar no, Marvel. Marvel. Or DC. The Hulk... I see Thor, Captain America, yeah, Iron Man. Okay, well, it's a fitted sheet, so I'll throw that behind me. Oh, wait, there's more. Pillowcase that goes with it. Hmm. Yeah, there's the Hulk right there. Again, I don't know how old this is. There's the top sheet. So I won't unfold it, but you kind of get the idea, right? Um, what's this? Guitar Hero something. Oh, <laughs> brand new with tags. And 
Uh oh, where's my glasses? Bobby, what'd you do to your glasses? Okay, looks like they're 2005 to 2008 Guitar Hero, <laughs> like, uh, you know, pajama bottoms or sweats or whatever you want to call them. What side are these? Um, large, 36 to 38. That ain't me, but that's okay. All right, oh, there's a mug in here. Smiley face mug. Yeah. And a smiley face nightlight. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty cool. Those are freebies. Here's another freebie. Hmm. A Fortnite vending machine? How old is this? This is from 2020, so it's not old. But it is sealed. So I guess there's 19 pieces inside. There you go. So, you know, let me know your thoughts as we go here. Oh, here's some more free stuff. My goodness. Pez dispensers. Looks like R2-D2 there. And how old are these? They got the feet on them, so they're not real vintage. Um, trying to see a year. <laughs> well, who else do we have? We have C-3PO. So we got a Star Wars theme going. This guy I don't know because I don't watch any. I've not seen any past the first three Star Wars. And I know he's from more recent Star Wars. There's Yoda. Yep, I do not have the power. I, I cannot teach him. Yep, yep. Yep, all right. A little bit, maybe. And then this guy, whoever that is. So Pez Dispensers. Again, I don't know, I don't see a year on them, but hey, it's free. It's free. Free's always good. All right. Um, I'm going to have to get a knife. And no, I didn't cut myself, but I did open the end of it. Okay, this is something I did know about. It is a green, clear green N64, and it does have a jump pack in it. I do have an N64 that I use to test. Um, if this works properly, I will keep this and sell the other one. So there you go. That's one item. Oh my goodness. There you go. Looks like a DS, Nintendo DS case. And I do know about some of the stuff that's in here. And so... There's uh, Pac-Man on you know, Game Boy. There's <laughs> Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. This ain't valuable, but if you find the DVD, one of their, their DVDs with the little flip plastic case opening up, they're worth some money. So don't pass on Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Um, there you go. A Game Boy Advance SP in red. I do have an orange one that I've bought for at a yard sale for like eight bucks with a game in it, a Mario game, and I'm not selling that one. This one I hadn't made up my mind, but I do know about them. I just sold a baby blue one for 110 bucks. It was all scuffed up on the this, but you can recase these. Um, I did not test it. No, it needs to be charged. Um, there's a DS game here. 3DS, Donkey Kong Returns. So I'll put that back in there. Um, what else do we, here's some money right here. If you had never seen one of these and I do own one of these, um, that's a micro Game Boy micro. That's a $200 handheld right there. Um, I kept my other one because when I bought it, I did a deal and I haven't got my money back out of that deal because I didn't sell the micro, but there you go. So 200 bucks right there in my hand. So, and the, the Game Boy uh, Advance SP, I think that's anywhere from like 80, 80 and a little bit more maybe. And then a, see if this one's charged enough to come on. Nope. But this is a DS Lite. And for those of you who know about these, this one's in really good condition. No scratching on the screens. Uh, I don't need to be charged. And I do have some chargers for this stuff. Um, that's probably a $50 item, I would say. 
And that's all that's in here. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. There's some games in here. You want to take the time to look at games? Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Sonic Sega All-Stars. Call of Duty Black Ops. These are all DS. Super Mario Brothers. Track Attack Hot Wheels. And, and a lot of these aren't going to be worth a ton of money. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Heck yeah, I'm smarter than a fifth grader. Bring them on. Do what? Oh, I'm not? All right, third grader then. All right, Flash Focus. <clears throat> Madden 07. <laughs> oh, is there any Madden games that are worth anything? Brain Age. Juice 2. Two more. Tangled, Disney Tangled. Yeah, I know that's not a valuable game. And Hannah Montana. Is that like Hannah Banana? Oh, never mind. Humor, humor. All right, I didn't want you to watch me put it all back up, so... Now we're gonna get into what I, he asked me if I wanted these, and I said yes, I do. And there's a few of them, so I'm gonna go through them. Just stay tuned. But the sole comps on on these are anywhere from four or five dollars up to as much as fifty dollars. Yes. So, and I'll hit you when these are all NES '80s um, manuals for an original Nintendo Rambo. That's a $50 manual, folks. Look it up if you don't believe me. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Gunsmoke. Dun-dun. 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 Oh, that's, that's the theme, okay? Ring King. Life Force. Side Pocket. Tag Team Wrestling. That's for you Bama picking type people. Tiger Heli. Section Z. Donkey Kong. Astyanix. There's several of these Commando ones. Uh, Captain Commando. That's the Commando one. Or Skate or Die. Is that like Ride or Die? I can roller skate. <laughs> Shadowgate. What is it? Oh, Double Dribble. Man, is it not? Is it not true? I mean, nowadays you watch these NBA players and college players. They double dribble all the time. Back in the day, they called traveling all the time on that stuff or Double Dribble. And now they do it, and they get away with it. Um, another Captain Commando. This in Section Z. This one is Iron Sword, Wizards of Warriors and Warriors 2. Another Captain Commando. This one's Trojan. Not to be confused with anything else. Um, Turbo Racing. Viper. Track and Field. Another Wrestling. The Tecmo Wrestling. There you go. Duck Hunt, Rygar, Karnov. What are these all Russian manuals? Heavy Barrel, Spy Hunter, Super Mario Brothers, Capcom Mega Man. I think that's a decent one too. Slalom, Solomon's Key. Another, that's a bump and jump. <laughs> I ain't even going down that road. Track and field two. Sky Kid. Well, I kind of did go down that road, didn't I? Top Secret. Blaster Master. I actually pulled that game off of uh, eBay. I have that game. And I'm going to add this to it to enhance the value. Iron Tank. Because the game itself is worth 13 bucks. How to Play Contra. Contra. So there's the manuals that I know so far. So... The manuals all together looks like about 500 bucks. That's right. That's right. All right. Let's continue on. Here comes some history. This is a World War II. Yes, World War II. And it has it in the thing. It's got the guy's name. And uh, he's got Sergeant Stripes, U.S. Army shirt. This looks like it goes for about 30 bucks. I'll run it on an auction just to verify that. But that's not the best thing in this deal. Um, it's coming up right here. And that was just a like a... Hang on a minute. That one's a, just a uniform shirt. This is the more valuable piece. And it's got some holes, so it may not go as high as I hoped it would. This is... A, by the way, that was USMC. I said it was Army. It's not. USMC... This is a olive green 
uh, heavy work type shirt, and it does have the year in it. Um, 122, 1945, so at the end of the war, because the war ended in 45, there are some holes in it. This shirt will go anywhere from about 200 to $1,000, depending on how people are. But if you don't believe me, again, look it up. That olive green U.S. Marine Corps uh, type thing. That's what got me excited about the whole deal. Um, the Capitol, Washington, D.C. Didn't know about that. Oh. All right. Looks like we have a Xbox. I don't know if that's, is that one or 360? That's X. Okay. There's some cords and stuff in here for, looks like Xbox stuff and a remote. So just power cords, chargers. Looks like Xbox 360 stuff, not. Here's another freebie I didn't know about. Um, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Yeah, there you go. And uh, this is the Rex Floor and Mega Rex. And this is from 21, so again, it's not vintage. Donkey Kong 64, I just sold that game yesterday. And I have my own copy, so this will probably be sold too. This goes for about 25 bucks. Um, looks like Konami Ameristar cards. Konami is a maker of the video game stuff too. Uh, you tell me. Um, Kool-Aid? What are those? They're pink strips. They say Kool-Aid at the top. And then on the back... So you, I guess you, oh, you doodle on them. It's, it's like the old drawing things where you drew with a pencil on the pad and then you pulled the sheet up and, and it erased it. So that's pretty cool. There's several of those. I don't know the value of those and I did not know about them. Here is the manual for the Donkey Kong, which will enhance the value of that as well. Oh, more Kool-Aid and I see some more down here. Just in case you didn't believe me. Uh, another one. Another one bites the dust. Oh, what do we got in here? Oh. Okay. Again, no nothing about them. There is a watch here. That is a Rolex. All right, it's not a Rolex. Um, Anne Klein. Anybody know anything about it? Okay. It's made in Japan. There's a cool knife. Looks like a collector. Franklin Mint collector knife. And there you go. Look at that car on there. Convertible. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. Okay. And then what is this? Some kind of food mart knife. Hmm. Made in Germany. It's a... Nurcot or Mercot? I cut you. I cut you. Oh, all right, never mind. Um, Simpsons highball glass. Wouldn't that be for somebody like MML who drinks like moonshine or something? Sorry, MML, no secrets. Um, this I I could not find any comps on this. I don't think it's official, um, but it is a Wii Sports bundle. And Motion Plus ready. It's got an archery bow, a water sports handle, sports grip, and a frisbee. Um, I could not find this as, as an official Nintendo. It's made by Penguin, so I don't think it's official. And I could not find it online, so I really need to do more research on something like that because I don't know. Disney Infinity 3.0, Xbox 360. I did see this in his pictures. It isn't worth that much, um, but that's okay. It's new in the box, and I'll sell it. Um, that's more shirts. Uh-oh. Who is this? The Beatles. It is screen printed, so it's not vintage, but that's pretty cool. Right, Marty? That's right, Jiminy Flip It. 
Beatlemania Man U. Here's another shirt. Again, I think it's screen printed. It's a medium, so it won't fit me, but. Welcome to the jungle. All right, I'll stop. It's a medium, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> oh. Sony remote. Uh, PS2. Is this Domino's? Okay, I didn't want to open it. Carefully, I didn't know about this. Domino's, um, collectors. Looks like some Wii games. Babysitter Mama. Just Dance 2. NBA 2K11. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. That's a decent game, price-wise. Space Chimps. Genji, Dawn of the Samurai. I'll cut you. NCAA 07. I know that's not worth anything. And, oh. Yep. It's sealed. It's Alabama on tour uh, from 2003. And it's got some tearing right here, but otherwise it's sealed, so it's never been out of the case. Um, a banana? No, that's a green N64 remote. Oh, 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 be careful. Sealed in the package. Golden Trivia Mash Edition cards. And they are sealed inside, as you can see. And how old is that? 1984. That's old, folks. That's old. Um, virtual reality glasses. Yeah. I heard some silver running around. Here's a Swiss Army watch. There you go. And, uh, yeah, with $500. Oh, never mind. That's not true. Um, here's some more cards. Fiberite molding compounds. I don't know. That's interesting. Not anything I'm familiar with. Oh, look at these. Golden Eye. Oh, they're... <laughs> I see this. I think it's something. They're needles. Sewing needles. Ooh, I don't want to break that apart. There you go. Huh, that's kind of cool. And some 100 pesos. What's that worth? I actually have some Mexican money, but it's not worth much. Here's a World's Fair Chicago 1933. That's pretty cool. And it's a postcard set from 1933, World's Fair, Chicago. Wow. Yeah, that's old. Uh, I got to bring the box to me because a lot of this is small. Oh, look at that. Some kind of a green glass. It's an owl. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo. All right. Stop. Stop. Bulldozer. Uh, I don't know, some kind of bee, honey bee or something. I'm sure that, some cereal, right? Pickup truck. Um, what is that? Oh, that's, <laughs> somebody's wedding thing, and isn't that a, like a Jewish, uh, whatever the hat they wear is called, because it does have a, January of 2020, I won't say their names, but the wedding of, and they wore these, so. Hmm, I don't know if I'll get anything for that. Some more Kool-Aid stuff, some more cars, Raisin Bran, that looks older. Hmm, have to see if any of these are red lines. Interstate 76 car. Yep. Hot pink tractor trailer. Hot wheels. 
two more cars, an army, and another one. Looks like a serial type car. And then two pieces of silver, it looks like. Yep, sterling silver. That's a pie plate uh, thing with a design on it. And the last thing is silver plated from Korea. And it is a knife. I cut you. Somebody! Somebody! All right. That's what I got. 300 bucks. Tell me how I did. Y'all have a great day. Hit that like, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. On the next show. We out of here. Thanks again, man. You the man.